Okay, I posted that uh, Snapchat slideshow of the poncho yesterday set up, so this is how I set it up. So I just got this Equinox poncho. It's got four grommets. I put a couple of little clips on here that I got at REI. And we'll see if I can set it up. I mean, I said in a minute, but it probably takes me a little longer than that if I want to get it perfect. But it's actually pretty easy to just lay it out like this. I got my trekking pole here at about uh, waist height, right? So that's how I kind of size that. And I just uh, put it through here just to kind of get an idea of where I want the stakes. So again, I'm just using seven aluminum stakes. So I just put one in right there. these grommets a little bit with duct tape or nail or uh, so on, something on there. So one there. Again this is all pretty much sized already. Go at an angle. You just put a little uh, girthage I guess this is in here. Pull it over there. And this is nothing that would need to withstand a lot of a lot of wind. It's just a quick setup just to get out of the rain real quick. This is taking me a little bit longer than a minute. But I haven't done this more than you know half a dozen times probably. When there, yeah, I know you're not gonna be able to see this in back, but just get a stick here, put it in the head loop, another little girth hitch in there. Put that in there, put that in the, stick that in the ground, get another cord that's got on a little shock cord. So one of the things I do is kind of put it off to an angle here to get as tight as I can. And then I just have one more station back here. So there we are. It's down a little bit. Whatever you want. It's pretty taut, everything's pretty nice in there. And again, that's just enough for me to kind of sit up in. It's a little lower. Just enough to sit up in. Of course, I'm touching the sides and so on, but you know, if I'm hunkering in here and it's raining, I can get back a little bit more, I can sleep in there. But that's it. So, there's my one minute poncho tar pooch set up. All done. Okay, so just to finish this up, I can throw my pack in there, like my 30 liter pack, throw that back in the corner, wherever. No big deal. Get out my bivy bag here, the USGI bivy bag. And it's not spacious in there, but it's certainly enough room to curl up in. Out a little bit. Get his buggy out, throw a mosquito bar over there. Yes, not a lot of room. So, yesterday's pictures might have made it look bigger than it was, but it's enough to get out of there and it's all I'm concerned about. Keep a little heat in. You know, I'm touching the side of a single wall tent and eventually I'd get wet, but that's why I got my bivy bag. Is it as good as a tent? No. Is it as good as a BC USA tarp? No. But I have it with me and you know it's, it's good enough. Put a little fire right there. If some sparks fly I can fix them with tape. You know whatever. Fire is right there. Smoke isn't really going to bother me. Emergency blanket, silk bag liner, bivy bag, little ground cloth. 
on the trauma blanket, you know, if the ground isn't freezing, you know, you're, you're okay. All right, so that's it. I got my pack in there. I'm all set. See you in the morning.